your future? That's apparently what actress Jennifer Garner may be asking herself and possibly considering a big career move into politics. Reportedly, she has the backing of Hollywood heavyweight director J.J. Abrams, this according to a source for the U.S. Sun. No word yet on what that political position might be. For more on her potential foray into politics, I want to bring back Niall Stanage, White House columnist with our partners at The Hill. Niall, good to see you again. Good to see you, Natasha. So what are you hearing about this, first of all? And second of all, not completely unprecedented, right? She would not be the first celebrity to make a, a political run. She certainly would not be the first celebrity. Now, I think it's worth stressing that this is so far a fairly vague report. It's certainly true, though, that Jennifer Garner has had some political involvement in the past. She has been a Democratic fundraiser. She has also worked on and indeed testified to Congress on the issue of early childhood education, which seems very important to her. And um, celebrity, I mean, clearly we have had former President Trump, and if you wanted to think about it, you know, former President Reagan was clearly first famous as an actor. And there have been a number of other celebrity candidates through the years, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger in California, and several others. So it's not, a, it's not an untrodden path. Well, I want to switch gears and talk about something else, certainly making headlines, because last week, former President Trump's digital trading cards sold out in less than 24 hours, all 45,000 selling at $99 each, according to the site selling them. How does depicting Trump as a superhero potentially help or hurt his reelection campaign? It certainly has caused some consternation even among some of his allies. Steve Bannon on his podcast was expressing exasperation about this, suggesting that it bespeaks a kind of lack of seriousness. And obviously it's all a fairly uh, lurid endeavour and leaves the former president open to a certain degree of mockery. He got some of that mockery on uh, Saturday Night Live. The whether it really affects things one way or another. I mean, I, I think people who dislike Trump will dislike this. People who are in that hardcore Trump base, they won't, they won't mind at all. They like pretty much anything he does. Why did he do this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, no, it's, it's not very clear why he did it. Obviously, it raises money, you know. It's a substantial amount of money when you think of 45,000 of these things being sold at $99 a pop. But, um, I mean, he doesn't particularly need money, as far as we know. It keeps him in the headlines. He likes things that are attention-grabbing, that are newsy, even when they do open him up to mockery from critics. So, you know, obviously he has a long, long history of all the Trump-branded products that he has launched over the years. Perhaps the most consistent way to see that is uh, within that lineage. Well, Amy, Trump certainly being criticized uh, after the New York Times reported that Trump is keeping the proceeds instead uh, of that money going to his political campaign. Are political candidates legally allowed to do this? Um, are they legally allowed to raise money? I mean, I think it would be, I'm just thinking through the electoral laws on this. It would be more problematic if he did use it for political campaigns, I think. Um, I mean, th there's no ban on someone raising money for their own personal fortunes in whatever way they want. You can boost your wealth by any legal means, and that doesn't have any implications for campaign fundraising or such like. Where things get more complicated is when you raise money for campaign reasons and then use it for personal expenses. That can very quickly get into uh, illegal territory. Okay, I appreciate you thinking through this on the fly with us. Niall Stanage, thank you as always. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.